All right, guys, so as far as uh, wiring up the uh, controller to the car, it's super simple. Positive and negative went through this fender well. I will be putting um, some wire, like protector with some tape in the that plastic uh, coupling piece through here. Um, it goes through here. It's a little hole already made in here. So all you do is you remove the Phillips screw down there, pop this panel off. Um, these are wired. The harness uh, is where um, it's in here. Um, it's pretty easy. It chucks right in there because this is nice, uh, thick plastic. It has like, it's hollow through here. Um, this is the low light switch. I just pop this panel off right here. It comes off. There's It's hollow behind here too. So I suppose if you wanted to, you could wire those wires up into here. Um, pretty simple. And then I have it set through this panel right here. Just pull this panel off. It's really easy. And then uh, basically from there, uh, it's wired into here. So uh, it comes out right there. And that hole hole's already made, so you're good to go. And that will feed right back under your seat. And that goes straight back to the trunk. All you do is remove the bolt underneath there, and you're good to go. Pretty simple. Easy wiring. Harness is right here, just for the spray PSI. So you can set it to 2, 4, 6, 8, and when it wants, wants to start. And it goes all the way up to 35. Uh, and then it goes probably fuller, which is its full PSI here, all the way down. So good to go. Tells you everything you can test. It's great. Great kit. All right, guys, so I wanted to go over some of the materials uh, that you would use for your methanol injection, water methanol. Um, basically, you have this heat stuff right here, which is about 99% methanol. Um, you could add this to your methanol, um, your water methanol, but that would take quite some amount as this is only 12 flow ounces. Um, so these are about two bucks a piece, but it is good to know that you can get these. Um, some people use winter wiper fluid, but unfortunately right now it's summertime and they only have plus 32 when it needs to be negative 20, I believe, um, to have methanol in it um, because methanol is an antifreeze agent. So basically, uh, this contains 99% methanol. Um, you, I suppose you can mix a bunch of these to get 50% uh, methanol, 50% water, but that is going to add up as these are $2 a piece. Now, um, you can get this stuff that I'm sure people have heard of. If you haven't heard of it and you're running methanol, I don't know what you're doing. But uh, basically, this is boost juice, and it's uh, pre-made by Snow Performance 5050. But it's more like 4852, and that's 48% methanol and 52% water. Um, that's why some people add a uh, uh, about one of these to their methanol. Now, personally, what I would do is if you have a local dealer um, that specializes in VP racing, or as an authorized reseller for VP Racing, they have a thing called M1. And what that is, is that's pure methanol. So all you have to do is uh, make the mix yourself, which is pretty simple, 50% water, 50% methanol. Very basic, easy mix. Uh, just take a gallon, you know, just mix it up, we're good. Uh, yeah, this is empty. Um, so that's what I would do. I mean, these are about 50 bucks for four of them, $45, five bucks for shipping and tax, blah, blah, blah. Versus one uh, five gallon methanol kit or methanol uh, kit, uh, methanol um, drum from VP Racing, which is about 47 bucks. I suggest find it locally because if you ship from VP Racing, have fun with the shipping costs as it's considered a chemical, so it's a lot more expensive. Um, I want to show you guys the kit and how it's set up in the trunk. Excuse the mess, working a lot on this car lately. Um, Oh, hey, look, a penny. It's good luck. No, I have two pennies. I have even better luck. Um, anyways, this is where I kind of mounted it for now. I plan to set it up here once we put a bar in for it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, the pump's right here. The wiring, like I said, goes from the trunk. Yeah, this is a bunch of extra wiring I have for my amp that needs to be fixed and figured out. But we're going to be taking out these back seats um, to not so much delete them, but get rid of them for now. Uh, it's not going to be a permanent delete because I love my amp and my uh, sub. Even if I'm on track days, I still love my sound system. <laughs> um, so anyways, so this is the kit, uh, as you can see here. So it's pretty simple. You just open it up, pour it in there. Uh, it's a little funky if you have a Fiat. Uh, it's a little bit of a tight space right here. As you can see, it's like kind of like that. It's not really, it's pretty much flush with the wall. But um, I've seen some people put them on the back seats. I don't personally care for that because, like I said, I'm getting rid of the back seats right now. So if that's the case, I wouldn't be able to mount it there. Um, some people have ran this pump other places. I keep it around the tank itself. Um, I'm planning to make the bracket to mount it up here because it just it seems like it's not super stable for that. Um, 
I have three bolted in. There's just one that's not because obviously I can't reach. There's nothing here. So I probably will be building in a bracket for that as well. Uh, just because it does flex a little bit because this is it's nothing behind here. So uh, we'll be making a bracket for that and the pump itself and obviously fix up that whole area. But uh, yeah, so that's how it's mounted in the back. The wires go through the back seat um, right through here. It's, it's through the same thing. It goes underneath the seat though. It, come, it goes underneath the seat and comes up. It's basically following my amp wiring. And then these are your uh, low level sensor. And there's your two that go into here. So your positive and negative. And it's pretty straightforward. You have the, um, the little hose right here that goes from the tank into here. And the hose that goes out from here. And it goes for the Fiat. If you're having a bar, it's going to go into this little plastic grating. You're gonna take two Phillips head screwdrivers right here, uh, screws right here and here. You're gonna remove this and there's a plate. There's a little like a screen uh, grid. It's not checkered, it's just, it's like an air vent basically. Um, and you're gonna open that up and it's gonna, it's super simple. You just place it right through there. Goes underneath the car, into the bumper area. Uh, there's a wire sticking out for God knows what. Um, but then it's going to go all throughout the bottom of the car. And like I said, just follow, if you follow the, the fuel line that takes it to the front of the car, you should be completely fine because, um, that fuel line should avoid some of the hot spots, like with the exhaust and whatnot. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You can't really mess up this kit. The only thing that you can mess up is if you, for some reason, um, run it a little too low in the boost range, I suppose, and you can hydro lock your car. You don't want to do that. Um, my advice is not to run pure methanol because, well, it's going to void your warranty. If you want to run pure methanol, go for it. It's not my fault if your pump breaks. Do I run pure methanol? I'll leave that up to you guys. But anyways, so there's your, uh, there's the stuff to mix it with. It's pretty straightforward. Some people don't uh, care to know how to mix this stuff and they buy it pre-made. But just in case you're in a pinch, you can get this stuff. Um, and if it happens to be winter time, you can go ahead and pick up some windshield wiper fluid. Um, some people will have the methanol kit actually linked to the windshield wiper reservoir themselves, which is cool. Mine's not even in the car, so that was not an option for me. Because you don't have to have this giant tank here. You can uh, use your windshield wiper reservoir, which is an option, and you can do that with this AEM kit as well. Um, personally, I think it's really incognito doing it that way. I just don't know the exact specs on my car to see how big that um, windshield wiper reservoir is. I'm sure it's probably about a gallon. Uh, for the Fiat 500, you don't need to be spraying meth, and I don't think you're going to be going through a lot of methanol um, quite often if you don't spray too low in the boost range or if you don't have a heavy foot. Uh, my methanol is set up currently uh, because it's been a little hotter to spray around 8 PSI or so, um, up to 25. Um, now, if it's something that I want to save a little bit on the fluid, I will turn that up to about spraying around 12 PSI just because I have the bigger turbo. So my boost, I have a little bit more boost. Um, so 12 to about 28 PSI. I try not to push the car that often. If I do happen to push the car, I will uh, change the settings on the fly, which is great about the AEM kit. Um, that's probably my favorite part about it. The module itself is fantastic. You can easily change it on the fly, super simple. Um, versus like Snow Performance, uh, the more expensive one, you would have to buy the better one that has a module in it. If not, it's like a manually turn it, so you'd have to turn it up manually and make sure that it's a PSI you want. So that's why I chose the AEM one. The other Snow Performance one, I think is about 430-ish or so. I paid 485 for this kit in total. Um, now that's not including some of the discounts I got from uh, some of the places I bought it from. Uh, shout out to Sonic Motors for that uh hooking it up freaking awesome and uh yeah so i mean the, the key in this auto world and like if you want to do stuff right is just talk 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 to people the more, the more people you talk to the more stuff you get done the more deals you can get so uh shout out to them and uh shout out to aem for helping me out with this uh thank god for their them having a retailer in california it's able to get that done taken care of real quick and uh yeah thank you you guys have a good one